Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. This is Microsoft Office 2021. I mean, okay, Microsoft PowerPoint 2021 and I'll be showing you how to type different math equations using PowerPoint. So just watch and learn. So I'm going to type in some math equations. So first, first of all, I want to type an integration number. So I'm going to go to type equation right here. Then I like making use of what they call the ink equation. So this is actually one of the new features. That's actually very helpful. It allows you to type and preview quickly. So let's, we're going to draw an integral sign, then it's just going to interpret it. So we're going to type in some values, 3x squared plus x plus 1 over x minus 2 into x plus 1 chipped and I'm gonna give this limits gonna be a 4 there and it's gonna be it's actually um it's actually correct this so it's actually 0 and let's correct this. This is actually an integral sign. Okay. Actually, let's. Uh, let's change that to 3. Okay. So there we go, we have our equation, our first equation. Let's try to type in uh, something else. Actually, I just forgot to type in the words dx. And that's actually very, very important. Let's try, um, let's try another one. This is actually number two. So let's try inserting um, the equation again. Let's insert an ink equation. All right, then let's um, let's try another integral. Integral. I'm gonna have values inside the roots. I'm gonna have one minus x over one plus x. So it's time just remember to type in dx. Then let's insert that. Okay, that's looking good. That's looking fantastic. All right, let's try another one. Um, now let's try uh, something more of like trigonometry. Prove that. Okay, so let's insert our ink equation again. Tan three cubed is equal to three tan theta minus tan. cubed theta over 1 minus 3 tan squared theta 
Right, and looking good. So that's how that's how I'd type some simple math equations using PowerPoint. If you feel it really helped you, just keep on practicing. If you feel this video really helped you, just tell me below in the comments. And then something I encourage you to do is just keep practicing it out. Keep trying it on different math equations. And then I uh, want to say if this video really helped you, just feel free to leave a like on the video. And then if you're new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe and join the community. And then make sure to hit the notification bell so that you get updates every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in my next video. Bye.